Hi guys. Okay, so we've now got two videos. The one video getting prepared to get a visa. The second video that Bella shared in regards of actually getting a passport. So you're getting a foundation happening. So the next, this video here, we're going to share about actually what information you really need to have before you apply for the visa. And this is where a lot of people fail. So, number one, bank accounts. Obviously, number two, you have your passport, right? So you've got those. So with your bank account, you need to go to each bank and you need to get a letter documented when you actually opened up your bank account and what your current funds it's a certified what do they call it what do they call that was a certified it's, i don't know certified document for your bank accounts right yeah it's a one certified your bank account yeah. certification yeah so we so bella got it for uh three accounts doesn't matter two accounts but two different banks and they you have to pay for this so when you go in um, you end up asking for a certification for the actual bank account and you'll pay for that and they'll be stamped and it'll usually be uh, signed by the manager and on the document it just has person's name other information when the account was open uh, in good standings and what the balance is in that bank account okay so you've got those two certificates okay your next is you're going to want to do an invitation letter so this is where a lot of people seem to be very confused i just read uh, a posting on facebook where the answers on there just didn't make any sense guys i i don't know where these guys are coming from they just seem to be talking about things so we're going to help you out so that you do your invitation letter properly so i did the invitation letter in my invitation letter um i think one of the things that really likely helped is that i do own my own home and i am mortgage free so i don't have a mortgage so there's a different guys when you have a mortgage you got payments right also i'm a business owner in that letter, I also put that uh, when Bella is coming, she doesn't have to worry about paying for anything. Also, I put in there that she will have health insurance. That's very important, guys. So you wanna make sure that you have health insurance for um, her coming into Canada. That's very important. So all that information in the invitation letter is very important. You're gonna have, open up a PDF and you're gonna have all these copies put in that PDF. And the reason we being is you're gonna need them later, guys. So invitation letter, you wanna end up having that copy sitting in that folder saying visa application. You want to make copies of uh, those certificates for the banks you want to make copies of those put them into that pdf folder make sure it's nice and clear and it's very legible guys next is um, if you your filipina has a lease you want to make a copy of that lease and again put that into the pdf folder because you will need that information later passport you're going to need a copy of your passport so again put a copy of that in that pdf you want to be prepared when you go to do this online application so that you're not frustrated uh what else did i miss i think i got everything right i got all those items that you needed yeah that's the all documented so we got is, your 
lease. Lease. We got your lease. Yeah, it's number one. We've lease. got your passport. Passport. We've got the invitation letter for invitation me. Letters. And we bank have the bank accounts. The certifications for them. Okay? So those are all in that folder, guys. Very easy to access because you will have to upload those when you do the application. And a lot of people don't talk about this. So it's important to have this. It makes it a lot easier when you organize. Next is sit down with your Filipina or Filipino and write out 10 years of work related. Consistency, guys. So it has to be consistent. So you can't jump saying I started in 2011 and worked for two months and no. They, the way that the online is set up is it's 10 years of consecutive. So you want to make sure that you take the time, write all this out guys, prepare it all step by step, have the name of the company, have the address and have it for 10 years. If you don't have it for 10 years, guys, you're not going to move ahead when you get to that stage of starting to fill out your application, okay, guys? And you, it'll really get frustrating. So have that information. Okay, so we have quite a bit of things now ready for you applying for the actual application, right? Yeah, the, uh, uh, the one thing is you have the experience for 10 Yeah, years. well, that's the 10 years. Right? This is 10 years. Yeah. You want to have all the information down. You got to have the address, the phone number, yeah. all the name of the company. You have to have all that consecutive. The name of the company and then when you start and when the end, that yeah. documented all. Yeah. Okay, so that's it for now. Stay tuned for our next video, guys. Take 10. <laughs> Thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to subscribe. What do you have to say, babe? Thank you for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Take 10. <laughs> Thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to subscribe.